What time is it? It's time for your equipment service. Grab your regs, grab your computer, and please don't forget your BCD. Here's why. How's it going Dive Buddies? It's Kyle here with another quick scuba tip and today we're going to be talking about servicing BCDs and why it is so important not to forget them. This is probably the one question I get when it comes to servicing equipment over and over and over again and it's do I need to get my BCD serviced or I don't need to get my BCD serviced and the answer is yes, a hundred times yes. Yes, 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 please, yes. All right, now it is very, very simple. The BCD, even though there is not a whole lot of working parts in it, is statistically the one item of equipment that is the cause for most of the catastrophic dive accidents. When they fail, they're going to fail open. And as you know, open means your BCD is going to inflate and you're going to be on the fast track to the surface along with all the other joys of an uncontrolled ascent. Now all it takes is just a little bit of salt to build up in here and cause the straighter valve or inlet button to stick and up you go. Now you might be telling me, Kyle, I don't dive in any salt water at all. I dive in beautiful crystal clear fresh water up here maybe like we have in the beautiful lakes of Canada. I'm gonna tell you the same thing applies for you. Even though you may not be having salt bit up in your regulator, there is dirt and grime and stuff that is building up in here that you may not even know about. BCDs get tossed around and no matter how well you take care of them, dirt and stuff can accumulate in here causing them to stick. Now obviously it's not the same as salt, so you're not going to have as big of a worry as you do about salt sticking, but it's still wise to get that cleaned out every year. Now just a side note, if your BCD happens to be older than I am, and I'm talking 20 plus years, I know you're attached to your equipment and I know you love your equipment that you've had for a long, long time, but it may be time to start looking at getting some newer equipment, specifically BCDs. Now BCDs have come a long way since when you got certified or when you got your BCD. And there's going to be a time when you take your equipment in for service and the dive shop is going to find that there's a component of your inflator that's broken or dried up or sticking and just won't work. They're not going to be able to buy the component or the part anymore because of the sheer age of the BCD. Now either way guys, whether you continue to dive that old relic that you love so much that you got when you originally got certified or you're new to diving and just got a BCD that's only seen a couple dives a year in fresh water, you still want to get your dive equipment serviced. You want to get your BCD serviced. You want to make sure that your equipment is going to work when you need it the most and then it's going to take you on a fun dive as well as bring you back safely. And there you have it guys, that's why you should get your BCD serviced every year whether or not you use it once or a hundred times. If you like this video, hit the like button, as well as leave a comment below. When was the last time you got your BCD serviced? See you next time and happy diving.